Hi guys, this is Daniel Alexander Cannon here on Logic Before Authority. I've got some uh, very important information for y'all guys. Uh, some of it I've talked about a little bit, but I wanted to show it to you a little bit more together, okay? I told you that I've been seeing this 9-11 number showing up on my well clocks and like when I pick up my phone it's like bam it's right there and this is an example of it. of course this is in reverse but I also have seen it the other way and have some images that I'll show you but I know that this is happening for a reason it happened again this morning when I picked up my phone looked at it bam it was uh, that again I was like it's concerning and I think I may know possibly I'm not gonna say for sure that it what it is for sure but I know how my father has shown me how he works and so I'm going to show you uh, some of that and I also want to talk to you further about the Gulf Stream shutting down and I've got a picture to show you as well of the water being much bluer than I've ever seen in my life along the coast of South Carolina. It's because the Gulf Stream, something has happened. And then there's news articles out there, of course, that are saying the Gulf Stream is shutting down. And I can see the evidence of it because the Gulf Stream stirs up a lot of sediment and everything. And it keeps the water along the coast, on the east coast, like murky, dirty green. It ain't murky, dirty green no more, and it hasn't been for weeks now, like a month. And that's a serious sign, okay? But before we get to that, let's go over this, okay? So I'm seeing 9-11 over and over. And then, of course, I know what 9-11 is in Revelations. It's about the locust out of the pit. Well, okay, right? And then at the same time, and again, this is how my father works with me. At the same time, you know, I have the new channel that I've started called The Supernatural Show. And around, I've been thinking about it, and around the same exact time, like when I first started making the videos, not, you know, just like a couple weeks ago, about the dragons that the gentleman that lives in California, the doctor in California that has been filming these things coming out of the ground and coming out of the water and going up and flying around helicopters and anything that's flying above, uh, around 150 foot in the air or so. And these dragon things, they're like a, the best way I can describe it right now is they're like a fifth dimensional creature, okay? that is coming out of the ground. And to me, the ground, meaning they're not coming out of holes. They literally can pass through objects, pass through anything that's three-dimensional. And they come out of the ground and they come out of the water. He's documented this in over 2,000 videos. And then recently, when I was doing a Supernatural show episode, I'd gotten a letter come in from someone saying that they had been attacked by one of these things and bitten on the neck. And then I started doing some more research and found a young guy who was, it was a few years ago, but he got attacked and bitten on the neck. And it's not as much of a bite as it is a, uh, a burn or a sting, this kind of thing. And I guess I'll show you the photos and some of you have already seen it, but you can go over and watch the full episodes and I'll show you where to go do that at on those two subjects. But let's, let's read this real quick and then I'm going to show you some images and then we'll get into the Gulf Stream stuff in a minute. It said, And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth. And to him was given the key to the bottomless pit. The key is a frequency. It's a tone. It's a sound. It means a change in our, you know how it says God spoke the world into existence, spoke everything into existence. It's the key. Key means a sound, a frequency. Something's changing. And it is. Um, and, it, and he opened the bottomless pit, and, I, and there arose a smoke out of the pit. 
as the smoke of a great furnace, and the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. Right? And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth, and unto them was given power, as the scorpions of the earth have power. Right? And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads. Now, how would a locust, we always assume a locust is going to be something that's going to be, you know, some kind of grass-eating creature, something that consumes grass or crops or whatever, anything green. But in this case, they can't, right? Now, how could they not? Well, if they were fifth dimensional, like these dragon things that Dr. Robert has discovered, and I'm not saying this is it for sure, but I'm telling you what I'm seeing, and you have to make up your own mind and judgment all this, but if they were fifth dimensional, meaning they were made out of more like light, okay, because that's what we're seeing with these things, they, they would not consume uh, Inner, uh, like green things, you know, they wouldn't eat crops, they wouldn't do that kind of thing, and that kind of makes sense here. I'm just sharing the information with you. So it says, And to them was given that they should not kill them, but they should be tormented five months, and their torment was the torment of a scorpion when he striketh a man. And I don't know how that's going to play out exactly. I don't understand it at this point. Right? And in those days, men shall seek death and shall not find it and shall desire to die and shall flee from the earth. Or, excuse me, shall flee from them. Right? And most of you know this, so I probably don't need to read all of this to you. But uh, I wanted to read some of it to you. This is the last part we'll read here. The shapes of the locust, and a locust means anything that basically flies in a flock or flies in a, not in a flock necessarily, but in a, like grasshopper locusts. When they do that, it's the, it's more of a verb than it is anything. It's saying, it's an action, you know, like flocking together and consuming things like locusts, okay? So the shapes of the locusts were like unto horses prepared unto battle and on their heads were, it, were as it were crowns like gold, and their faces were as the faces of men. And they had hair as the hair of women, and their teeth were as the teeth of lions, and they had breastplates, and it were breastplates of iron, and the sound of their wings was as the sound of chariots of many horses running to battle. The sound of their wings is interesting because these things that Dr. Robert discovered, uh, they make a sound. It's an extremely, mm, it's not something normally audible. You wouldn't notice it, okay? Not with one of them anyways. Now, if there was a bunch of them flocking together or locusting together, you would probably, it would, there's no telling what it would sound like, but these things do make a sound because he has has a radar detector that he uh, uses and they put off and they, it actually sets off the radar detector when these things fly by close to him. And he's also recorded them making a sound and played at regular speed, it just sounds kind of like a click. But if you slow it down and listen to it, it's a really strange sound. I've got it. Um, I can't do it from here because I'm doing this off of my phone right now. But I will. So let's go ahead and go on over here. I'll show you where you can find the videos talking about these fifth dimensional dragons. Okay, it's on my channel. It's called The Supernatural Show. This is the bite mark or the burn mark on the young man's neck. As you can see, it has a face in it. It looks like it has hair. I'm not saying that's exactly related, but it's very interesting. And look at his face. It looks like he's been sunburned. 
It's like a radiation burn. And yeah, that's from a few years ago, and this is part of the video. And this is what was flying around him. This is a few images of it. That white thing in the middle, it's traveling extremely fast, and the camera only gets a couple of frames of it as it flies by. And this footage is on that my, the Supernatural Show channel. All this footage is on there, so you can go watch it. You see what it looks like? It looks like a ghost. And the reason that is is because it's fifth dimensional. But it also is definitely flying around this man and attacked him on his neck. You see? Here is one of the videos that you can go look at that's on the Supernatural Show channel where I'm talking to Dr. Robert about this, uh, uh, this, these attacks that are taking place. It's called The Fifth Dimensional Dragon Bit My Neck. Okay? Go check that one out if you want to. And also, another one that I did before that, it's down below it, is I See Dragons. And it was an in-depth interview with Dr. Robert about the dragons. And we show footage of them where they're flying and chasing and intercepting helicopters and things like that. Here's another example of the the nine and the one showing up on me. And here's another example of it showing up when I picked up my phone and I just grabbed screenshots real quick. And another example, it just keeps happening so I started screenshotting it so I could show it to y'all guys. All right? Here's the water in South Carolina now. Never has it been blue. And no, it's not perfectly clear like the Caribbean but it has cleared up so much now that the water is blue. I took this picture yesterday. And here's the information talking about the Gulf Stream shutting down. Gulf Stream current could collapse in 2025, unleashing climate chaos, right? And I believe they've known this was gonna happen for a long time. And are they doing anything to make this happen? I don't know for sure, but it's happening. It's definitely happening. This was all predicted in the movie and the book that the movie was based off of called um, The Day After Tomorrow, which was two, uh, two decades ago, okay? The Day After Tomorrow, and it was two decades ago, so two 10-year periods, and now it's actually happening. The name of the book was called The Coming Global Superstorm that the movie The Day After Tomorrow was based on, okay? And Art Bell was one of the people who wrote it. I'll let you read some of this if you want to. You can pause it and check it out. But basically what they're saying is climate chaos. You know? So, wanted to make y'all guys aware of this, clear things up a little bit, because the, the audio in the video I released the other day, for whatever reason, the audio came out pretty low and bad, and I apologize for that, but I'm not in a great situation, so I can't. Uh, it's just, it's hard even to do this right now. But y'all guys needed... I felt like some of y'all guys needed me to clear this up a little bit as to what's going on here. So those are a couple of major things that we need to be paying attention to, and I will be, and I'll update you as I understand and can discern things better. Okay, guys? I love you, and I appreciate y'all guys' support. I really, really need it right now. I'm so close to homeless, it's ridiculous. All my links are below if you're able to help continue get me along. I've got to get through the next 60 days, and I've got a solution coming, hopefully. Uh, pretty positively, actually, but i got to get through the next 60 days. I'll update you some more about that in a different video. I love you. Our Father in Heaven loves you. We'll talk to you again soon.